Welcome to Cloud Not Found. We're going for a spring tutorial today, so let's get started. First, we're going to prime our face with some pore primer. Um, it's nothing too serious. We're just going to put this on our T-zone, so that's where we get oily on our foreheads, cheeks, nose, and chin. And you're just going to sort of massage that into the pores. For our base, we're going for something a bit more natural and luminous, so I'm using a skin tint. It's not really meant to provide a lot of coverage, it's more to even out my skin tone. So I'm going to have some blemishes and you know marks show through anyway, but that's alright. I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics No. 7 Complexion Brush just to buff everything in. Next for concealers, we're going to use two shades, one for spot correcting and color correcting and one for brightening. The color corrector has a bit of a peachy undertone, so it's good for hiding any dark circles or correcting them rather. Then I'm going to use the shade to spot conceal as well. When you're spot concealing, you want to use sort of like a dense fluffy brush and you're just going to tap the concealer. You don't want to move it around or buff it a lot. You're just going to tap and then blend the edges out. For my under eyes, I'm using a bit of a fluffier brush, the same dual ended side, just to make, create a thinner blend. Then I'm going to use the brightening shade just to bring a little bit of highlight to my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and also in my smile lines just to bring those sunken in areas a little bit forward. And we're just going to blend it out with the same concealer brush, also around the nose because sometimes there can be a little bit of redness around there. Next we're going to be using some cream products. We're going to use a cream blush and a cream bronzer. This is my holy grail, I just prefer creams over powders, but that's personal preference. We're going to use the shade Pink Dew on the apples of our cheeks and bring it out towards the temples. We're also going to put a little bit of it on our nose, on our forehead and on the chin. And what that does is basically create sort of a more all over natural flush. And a good hack is to just use the same foundation brush to blend in your blush because then it can create sort of like a seamless finish. Then we're using the shade Bronze Goddess. Uh, we're not really contouring or chiseling our face today. We're just going to create sort of a bronzed flush using the same foundation brush as well. Putting it in the sockets of my eyes as well, just to deepen that up a little bit. Now we're just going to set the under eyes. I don't want to set my face because I want to keep the luminosity. So just under my eyes because I tend to crease there a lot and the sides of my nose because I get very very oily. Moving on to eyes, we're going to use an eye primer, not concealer, because when I use concealer, my eyeshadow will immediately crease. Using a dedicated eye primer keeps oils away and makes eyeshadows last longer, especially for hooded eyes like mine. And we're just going to tap that in. For eyeshadow, we're going to be using the ColourPop and Biddy palette collaboration. It was limited edition, so it is no longer available but it is gorgeous. Using the shade Bubblicious and a fluffy brush, we're just gonna sort of blend that all over the lid 
make sure to defuse the edges and we're not going to wing out the eyeshadow too much. Next, we're going to take the Carity palette and we're just going to deepen out the outer corners just a little bit with the shades uh, NSFW and Lumbia. We're not creating a lot of depth, just the teeny tiniest little bit of color on the outer corner and the inner corner. Next, we're going to dip into the Juvia's Place, the Saharan 2 palette, which I think has been discontinued because I can't find it on their website anymore. But we're going to use that with the NYX Glitter Primer. And essentially, what we're going to do is create sort of a DIY eyeliner. So we're going to take the Glitter Primer and a small brush, and we're going to put that all along our lash line, just like we draw eyeliner. And then we're going to pat the eyeshadow on top. We're using the shade Berber, which is this bright blue. And this is a good hack if you don't want to invest in a separate colorful eyeliner because you don't use it very often. Just going to pat that on top. It also helps to bring out the shimmers in the eyeshadow. Then taking the shade Chef Shaun, which is a bit more of like a, almost like a very, very light blue, just to brighten up the base blue a little bit. And we're going to take this highlighter from Topshop, which has been discontinued, but I will put links to any dupes down in the description. And we're going to pat that in the center of the lid, almost like a very, very subtle halo eye. It's got a bit of a pink shift to it, so it's just going to act as a bit of a base. Then we're going to tap some glitter primer on top of that so that our glitters from the uh, Biddy palette, the shade Sweet Life, can stick. Uh, glitters aren't technically eye safe, so please do use with caution or at your own discretion. Then we're going to take the same Topshop highlighter in our inner corner. Using the same Bubblicious shade that we used on our lid, we're going to run that all over the lower lash line. Using the shade Lumbia and NSFW again, a little bit closer to the waterline. And then using the shade Berber all along inside the waterline, acting sort of like tight lining. And just like before, we're going to tap that lighter teal shade on top. We're going to use a black eyeliner to create this very teeny tiny little wing. We're not really trying to create like a winged eyeliner look. It's just so that the lashes can blend with the eyeliner and create a little bit more of a cat eye effect. Um, this is um, a eyeliner from Hardy Heart, which is a Burmese brand. So I can't really link it in the description since you can't really order it. But just use any eyeliner that you have, make sure to tight line and line between your lashes, fill in the gaps, so that the uh, falsies that we wear can blend in well. Next we're going to curl our lashes. If you don't need to curl your lashes because you already have a really good curl, then skip the step. Next we're going to use the favorite mascara of mine, the Lash Sensational. It is a plastic brush which I prefer because it separates my lashes, it doesn't make them too clumpy, too voluminous. It adds a little bit of length and that black tint that I need, and it keeps my curl. And we're going to run that on the lower lashes as well. Next, we're using my staple lashes, the shy ones from Kiss. I like these lashes because they have a little bit more length on the outer corners to again create that bit of a cat eye effect and lengthen out the eye. Then we're going to move on to brows. I'm just using a eyebrow pencil and a clear gel this time around. So we're just going to map out the shape of the brow in general, on the bottom. 
and then we're going to start filling it in a little bit once you start getting to the front of the brow you want to use very light hair like strokes because you don't want a very blocked off brow at the front you can fill in the end of the brow a little bit heavier i don't like very strong instagram brows on me personally i like a more feathery look so i don't go ham in then we're just using a clear brow gel to set everything in place Next we're using that Topshop highlighter again all over the high points of our face, so along the cheekbones, the tip of our nose, the bridge of our nose, and the brow bone. This highlighter actually has a very strong pink sheen to it, but it doesn't show up on camera, which is a shame. We're using this liquid eyeshadow, which has a lot of glitter in it on the high points of our cheeks instead of using very chunky glitter so it gives a very subtle sparkle it doesn't show up on camera but it does look very pretty in person then we're going to use the sunny space lipstick in the shade girl crush it's sort of like a muted bright pink almost like on my lips but better i'm just patting that on my lips and that's a good technique to use if you want a more blotted lip or just a little bit less pigment from your lipsticks just sort of pat them in slowly. Okay, so here's the completed look. I hope you guys liked it regardless. If you have any suggestions for future videos, future tutorials, or just suggestions on this video, please let me know down in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys like this. Super dewy, super cute. And I'll see you guys in the next one.